I'm back at my apartment and that can only mean a couple things. One, I forgot to do an outro, or two, I'm doing an unboxing. And luckily, it's the latter of the two. I'm doing an unboxing today from one of my favorite stores in Arizona, the Hookup Tackle. Not the biggest unboxing brand. Ooh. This is a uh, ticket. We'll get rid of that. Not the biggest unboxing by any means. Actually, today we're gonna be doing kind of two unboxings from the Hookup Tackle. One is just literally one bait I bought. And then this smaller box here with a couple lures in it, but not the biggest order. I picked up about four things, but it's not about quantity in this box. It's about quality. There are some really cool lures in here, some rare limited edition lures that came out over 20 years ago. And part of the reason why I love the hookup tackle in Arizona is because they sell a ton of mega bass stuff and mega bass is one of my favorite bass fishing companies and each month mega bass comes out with a respect series color in their lineup basically just means like every month they sell a limited edition color in a limited amount of baits i gotta make this video quick i shut my ac off so my audio would be a little bit better and it was 97 degrees out in new hampshire so it's hot why I'm going fishing tonight. I was gonna go fishing this afternoon, but it was still 90 degrees out and really humid out this afternoon. So I decided just to clean my apartment a little bit. And I'm actually gonna be fishing tonight around 11 p.m. midnight when it cools off a little bit. And then I'll probably fish until about five, six o'clock in the morning. I'm kind of rambling on. Let's get back to the unboxing and uh, get right into it. And what I am most excited about in this box is this bait right here. This is a Pop X from Mega Bass. In the Respect Series GP Tanningon. But as you guys can see, it's a translucent bait. So this color would work really well in clear water. It's got kind of like a gold head, pinkish maroon, and then all the way to blue towards the butt end. But this is a super cool color. Kind of cool story behind this color. This color was actually first released one time, I believe in 1998 with the release of the PlayStation 1. Megabass actually made a PS1 game. I forget what it's called. If I can find it, I'll leave it up on the screen right here. And Mega Bass actually wanted to release this color specifically to go alongside that PS1 game, which is actually, in my opinion, really cool. So this is one of the rarer colors. But again, but again, the color is called GP Tanningon. And just in case you're curious, it's 64 millimeters and a quarter of an ounce. Because I thought that color was actually really cool, I actually kind of thought the story behind it was really cool too. I actually bought another bait in that limited edition color, but this is the X80 Junior. This is just going to be like your small river, small pond, creek fishing. You even can use this for trout if you wanted to. So this little bait here is quarter of an ounce, it's suspending, and it is 60 millimeters. And it's actually the same exact shape as the X80, but it's the Junior, so it's just 20 millimeters smaller. So about a, so about three quarters the size. And I'm just, and I'm not going to be opening it quite yet. I'm going to be making a video specifically for this bait here. And then that's when I'll open it. But those were the limited edition and rare colors from Mega Bass this month. Actually, I'll show you the other ones I have real quick. I got three other Pop X's. Got Triple Illusion, Kasumi Tiger. This one is SG Kasumi Reaction. This isn't a Pop X, but it's still a limited edition color in Cuba Libra. But these are just all my limited edition colors. 
Moving on to the next bait I got. This is a deep diving crankbait from Spro. It's a Spro Little John DD60. The DD just stands for deep diving and the 60 I'm assuming just means the length of the bait, 60 millimeters. And this bait dives 9 to 12 feet. And this color actually is really cool in my opinion. It's kind of like a green pumpkin, almost bass color. It's called Phantom Green. Let's actually take it out of the package. Oh yeah, that's cool. I like that paint job. And actually, deep diving crankbaits are one of the baits I throw the least out of everything. And a deep diving crankbait is a great way to catch those big largemouth and smallmouth in deep water. I tried out the Mega Bass Sonic side this spring, which is just like a flat sided crankbait. And it is kind of expensive, about $20. And actually, a few people told me to try out the Little John. So that's uh, why I picked up the Little John instead of like a Lucky Craft or a Mega Bass. Was just quite simply because my subscribers asked me to. If you guys want me to test out Allure or throw Allure, just comment it down below and I'll definitely go to Bass Pro Shops or some online tackle store and buy it and use it. Actually, one of my subscribers said he used an orange crankbait for smallmouth. So I picked up an orange crankbait for smallmouth and caught my biggest smallmouth ever. So I am absolutely open to suggestions and actually believe it or not, more than likely I'll go and buy that lure. But I don't have much experience throwing deep diving crankbaits so don't have much to say about it other than what it looks like and why I bought it. Oh, and it's 5 eighths of an ounce if you are curious. All right, moving on to the last thing I bought, and this is kind of like a little niche thing. You guys more than likely never heard of this before, and neither had I, but this is a Zapu chain cushion. And I bought them in the clear large size. Now I know what you're probably thinking, like what the heck are those, why do you need those for fishing? And at first I was thinking the same exact thing, but then I was doing a little research into them and these little guys are actually going to be really helpful for some types of fishing that I do. On the back, you can see that it's used for like a trailer hook. It stops your bullet weight from rubbing into your knot when you're using a Texas rig. And then when you're using a free rig, it prevents your free weight hitting your knot. The reason why I bought these was not for any of those reasons. The reason I bought these chain cushions were for one reason. And that was to use on these Okashira screw heads. Now on my left, your guys' right, I believe, this tiny black ball is extremely important when using these screw heads. Look on this one, there's no red ball. I mean red ball. There's no black ball. And when you're reeling this under the water, this screw is going to create some water resistance and and when you're reeling it forward, it's actually going to be pushing back into the head of your grub or swim bait, whatever you're using on this. But luckily, there's that tiny black ball there that prevents this screw from actually touching the head of your bait, so it still spins. Because that little black ball fell off on this screw head, the water resistance actually pushes this screw back into the head of your bait and it prevents the screw from spinning and it gets locked in place and then this will just spin back to you and create a bunch of line twists. So believe it or not, that tiny black ball in this screw head here is very important to make this whole jig head work. If that makes sense, I'm trying to do my best to explain what I mean. 
and so they come on a little string like this. I'm just going to take a pair of scissors and cut off one of the balls. Alright, and then I'm just... Oops. Alright, and then I'm just going to find the hole in the ball and slide it on over. Slide it on over that hook keeper. Ooh, there we go. All fixed. It does look a little bit big and bulky. And I do have a smaller size cushion. But I'm not 100% sure that smaller size chain cushion would fit over this little keeper here. So that's why I decided to get the large and it works fine. But now, this bait is saved. Perfectly usable again. But that is sweet. I was really hoping these would work. And I mean, they worked perfectly just like I thought they would. And I'm not going to do it right now just because I think it would be a pain to take it back over that barb on the hook. But what you can do with these chain cushions is cut off two of them and run one through the hook and then put the trailer hook on and then put the second chain cushion on the other side of the hook. So it kind of sandwiches the eyelet of the hook right there and you can put a trailer hook on really any bait you want to. Okay, so that is it for the main unboxing. I did buy one bait about a week ago and I haven't used it yet, but I'll show you guys right here. So it is Fish Arrow's 20th year anniversary and I did kind of want to celebrate by doing a collaboration with DRT. This is a one-time only collaboration. And this is called the Riser Jack. The color, the color is called Ikara SP. And that's the, basically the only English word on the package other than Riser Jack. So don't know much about it, but I did do a small amount of research on it. And this bait is floating. It's two and a half ounces. And the really cool thing about this bait, this lip pops right out. So now you have a lipless wake bait if you want to, or you could put that lip in and this will dive two to three feet underneath the surface and you could use it almost like a crankbait or something. And it just pops right back in again. And it's a collaboration between the two companies because you have the fish arrow body, but you have the DRT balancing system inside the bait. You have the DRT tail and you have the removable lip. See, when I saw this purple color, I thought this color would kill it at night. But other than that, I really don't know what to say about it. It's a wake bait. I'm going to reel it super slow on top of the surface. It's purple. Alright, so that is it for today's video. I gotta get my AC turned back on. And if you guys have any suggestions what I should pick up for the summer fall fishing season, then just comment down below because like I said before, more than likely I will pick up that bait and use it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Peace.